Hey everyone, SoundHound AI reported quarterly financial results that is sending the stock higher by as much as 14% as of this recording. I'll review the latest highlights from their quarterly earnings results. I'll also update my recommendation for SoundHound AI stock. Coming into the quarter, I did not have SoundHound AI stock rated as a buy. I acknowledge the company was doing an excellent job expanding and growing its reach. Its technology is improving and it has excellent long-term prospects. The only reason I didn't recommend the stock as a buy is because of the valuation. The stock has already soared by over 123% this year and I just felt the valuation was stretched. So I'm going to update that recommendation in this video, let you know if I still think it's too expensive or if now is a good time to buy. So let's take a look at the earnings first and foremost. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so SoundHound AI reporting 11.6 million in revenue in the first quarter. That was an increase of 73% year over year. Remember that's a slowdown from the previous quarter where it increased roughly 80% year over year. And these results include the impacts of an acquisition. So organic growth would have been even slower than this. The net loss on the bottom line was 33 million, roughly three times its revenue it's losing on the bottom line. Now cumulative subscriptions and bookings backlog increased by 80% to 682 million. These backlogs turn into revenue eventually. These are contracts that the company has signed with partners. And as SoundHound AI delivers its service, it counts this as revenue. So these are like three-year contracts, five-year contracts. And so every month or every quarter, SoundHound AI recognizes this as revenue. The company does have a strong balance sheet of $226 million in cash, and given the amount of money it's losing compared to how much cash it has, it has a long runway several years before it needs to raise additional capital. Now, it might sell some shares or borrow some money to raise capital opportunistically, but it doesn't need to. It's not in a desperate situation, which is good for investors. All right, SoundHound AI has some major partners and in the latest quarter, its dynamic interaction drive through AI interface went live with the global Q quick service restaurant brand. That's going to be exciting to see the development of that interface, see the progress, see if it leads to a greater subscription purchase, a greater revenue going forward. These types of developments are what you want to see as an investor. There's agreements also executed with a number of other large restaurant brands, including Church's Chicken. Now, I've often talked about SoundHound AI. One of the greatest use cases for SoundHound AI is for restaurants, working with restaurants, ordering ahead or ordering in the drive through where you can speak to the interface and order the thing that you want and then pick it up or you can drive through and order and pick it up instead of having to speak to a drive through agent. So the restaurant saves money from paying an employee and the customer gets a better experience because there's very many mistakes made when you're ordering from the customer service agent. So this interface could improve the customer experience and lower costs for restaurants, especially now with raises rising so much and the difficulty finding employees. There's such high turnover in these quick service restaurants. You're always needing to hire more and more people as people are quitting and turning over. And so this solves a major problem for restaurants if SoundHound AI can effectively deliver this technology. Applebee's also expanded its use of AI ordering across multiple franchisees, resulting in an additional 500 live locations. And then another major restaurant with over 2,000 locations uses SoundTown AI for drive through and continues to expand this to more locations as they add drive through locations. So great to hear these results from SoundTown AI and expanding its relationship 
there's evidence that whatever it is that SoundHound AI is delivering to the restaurants, the restaurants are liking it and they're expanding, they're ordering more of it. And I suspect this will continue for several, several years into the future because of the cost saving advantage. SoundHound AI also got an assist from California's government, which now makes it mandatory for these quick service restaurants to pay $20 per hour in minimum wage in California. Now that's going to result in these restaurants looking to save money on wages even more. They'll look to replace labor with technology and SoundHound AI is one primary beneficiary likely to result from that new legislation in California, one of the bigger states in the United States. SoundHound also partnered with NVIDIA to deliver in-vehicle enabled generative AI responses that don't require connectivity with large language models running on NVIDIA Drive. And as soon as you talk about partnering with NVIDIA, your business starts to get a lot of traction with investors because of the phenomenal success NVIDIA is having. If NVIDIA is partnering with SoundHound AI, that's another signal that its technology is exceptional. Otherwise, NVIDIA would not partner with SoundHound AI. NVIDIA has the option to partner with virtually any business it wants because of its success. People are lining up to partner with NVIDIA. Businesses are lining up to partner with NVIDIA. And so if NVIDIA is choosing SoundHound AI, that's a good signal for SoundHound AI investors. So the difficulty with SoundHound AI is that it's not able to deliver these technologies sustainably. It's losing a lot of money. On revenue of 11.594 million, it lost 28.529 million. Now, it was an improvement in terms of the operating margin, right? In the same quarter the previous year, it lost 25.2 million on revenue of 6.7 million. So the percentage loss compared to the revenue is improving. It's less than three times in the current quarter. In the previous quarter, it was more than three times. So it's moving in the right direction but still the losses are significant. Now, it is a growth company. It has a lot of growth prospects and you're seeing evidence of success. So I don't mind when companies like this are losing money if they're making that solid progress towards profitability, which SoundHound AI is making progress. Similar story with cash flow from operations in the same quarter last year, it was negative 14.5 million. In the current quarter is negative 21.9 million. SoundHound did raise the revenue outlook for the rest of the year to be in the range of 65 to 77 million. It just slightly lifted the bottom end of that target. I'll share with you here. The previous estimate was 63 to 77 million. It now says 65 to 77 million. So it lifted the bottom end of the target ever so slightly by 2 million and kept the top of the range the same at 77 million. So I mentioned that I did not have SoundHound AI stock rated as a buy. I had it rated as a hold. And I last updated that recommendation on April 28th. The stock price is up 123% year to date and is trading at a forward price to sales of 14.26. So despite its excellent prospects and its excellent progress, I still feel that the price is too expensive for me to recommend as a buy. It did move forward in the quarter. It was a good quarter for SoundHound AI, but I am keeping the stock rated as a hold for now. If you liked the video you just saw and you want to see more just like it, please subscribe to the channel. I can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you and I appreciate your support.